work with both the owners of the land and the people who have developed those plots so that we can create a mutual win-win settlement so that nobody, nobody's property is destroyed in the city of Nairobi. Hatuta kuwa tunapanga vile ya kujenga nyumba kwa housing na tunavunja zingine. Then it becomes a zero-sum game. Tunaelewana? So wale watu munaishi nyama vile hapa musikwe na wasiwasi my government is going to work with you and to work with all the other claimants so that we can have a win-win settlement where you can pay for that land in a way that is acceptable and in a progressive manner where nobody loses their property or their homes. Tumekubaliana? Vile vile, tumekubaliana ya kwamba hapa Nairobi kuna watu wengi wako na wasiwasi wako na matatizo kwa sababu hawana hati miliki ama hawana title deeds mahali wanafanya hata hapa Komarok hata nyumba hizi karibu nyumba 1400 ambazo zilijengwa na watu wa HFCK nimeambia wizara ya e, mambo ya ardhi hiyo ardhi ambao watu 1400 ambao wameshajengewa nyumba hapa hawana title deed in the next one month nitatumana waziri akuja apatiane title deeds hapa kila mtu apate hati miliki ya kwake na nairobi mzima i want to tell the people of the city of nairobi we know many settlements in nairobi are not titled tumekubaliana na wizara nilikuwa namkutana na wao na tumekubaliana ya kwamba kazi kubwa ya survey lazima ianze kwa kasi in the next 12 months we must complete the survey of at least the majority of the title of the areas we have in Nairobi so that by the end of next year to toy hati miliki at least lakhi mbili 200,000 title deeds for the people of Nairobi so that every citizen in Nairobi can have title to their land tunaelewana kwa sababu pia tunataka kila mtu awe na title deed yake na tunajua ili hiyo kazi yote ifanyike lazima pia kama serikali we must forgo certain things mambo ya rates nitauliza sakaja aondoe rates kwa ile mahali ambapo haijakuwa na title ndio tuweke title na sisi kama serikali ya kitaifa tutaondoa mambo ya rent tuwapatie title Ukisha pata title sasa uendelee kulipa kutoka hapo. Si ndio? Si unajua ushuru pia ni lazima. So si kila mtu akishapata title yake tunakubaliana kila mtu alipe alipe rates na alipe rent na kila mtu ashangie katika kuwa na e, ushuru ndio tuweze kuendesha mambo ya taifa letu la Kenya. Tumekubaliana? Mimi naelewa vile vile ya kwamba vijana wengi na tulikubaliana na nyinyi vijana wengi hawana ajira <clears throat> and that is the reality na ndio sababu na ndio sababu tumekubaliana ya kwamba hapa Nairobi tumeanza kwa kasi ile mpango yetu ya low cost housing tuhakikishe kwamba hawa vijana ambao wako katika mitaa tunawapatia ajira kwa program ya low cost housing hiyo mpango mliniona juzi pale um, mkuru tumeanza hiyo mpango na mimi nitarudisha sheria kidogo bunge hawa wabunge wanasahihishie sheria mahali fulani ndio tuanze mpango ya kujenga zile manyumba tumesema ili number one, hawa vijana wapate ajira na number two, ipatikane nyumba kwa hii Nairobi mahali mtu anaweza kulipa shilingi elfu tatu ama shilingi elfu tano iwe ni mortgage baada ya miaka ishirini, hiyo nyumba iwe ni nyumba yake mnanielewa na tumesema tunaanza na nyumba elfu mbili hapa Nairobi county as we roll out to the rest of the country
because we want more citizens to be homeowners in the city of Nairobi and in all our cities in the Republic of Kenya. And it is doable. That is the program to Taendelea. Sasa nyinyi vijana mutulie tu kidogo. Mimi nitawapanga. Msikue na wasiwasi. Mimi nitawapanga. Jambo la mwisho mpango yetu ya kuzalisha chakula. Bei ya chakula bado iko juu sana. Bei ya unga bado iko juu sana. Tumeanza hatua ya kwanza. Tumewapatia wakulima wetu mbolea milioni moja na laki nne mifugo. Tunapanga mwisho wa mwaka huu tutakuwa na fertilizer magunia milioni sita kusaidia wakulima wetu tumepunguza gharama ya mbolea tuwasaidie wakulima wetu wasalishe chakula ndio tupunguze gharama ya chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya ili kila mkenya aweze kulisha familia yake that is a plan we have na mwisho watoto wetu wengi wanakosa kwenda shuleni kwa sababu pengine wazazi hawana namna na hata hakuna chakula nyumbani tumekuwa tukitumia shilingi bilioni mbili kwa mambo ya school feeding program niliahidi ya kwamba tuta double the amount of money under school feeding program and that we are going to do beginning early next uh, early january next year na vile vile nilikubaliana kila county kama wewe sakaja kila county mwenye muko tayari kufanya kazi na, na sisi tutawahuzisha na nyinyi ndio tutawapatia hiyo pesa bora tukiwapatia shilingi moja mnaongeza shilingi moja ingine ili tuweze kulisha watoto wetu watoto wote wawe shuleni wakiwa wamepata chakula Tunaelewana jameni? Tumekubaliana? Nishamwambia hapa waziri. Na mimi nataka niwashukuru wale walimu volunteers, the, the, the teachers who volunteered to come and teach our children. Mimi nataka wasimame. Hao walimu ambao ni volunteers waka yole hapa. The volunteer teachers. Hawa walimu hawa volunteers. Ebu tuwapigie makofi. Hawa walimu ambao ni wagujitolea wameona wameitimu wame lakini wameona watoto wako shuleni wakajitolea kuja kufundisha watoto wetu bila malipo. Mimi nataka niwaambie you are our two heroes as teachers. Na nimemwambia waziri hawa walimu wote wa kujitolea wiki ijayo wao wampatiwa mabarua ya kuajiriwa kama walimu katika shule hii na waendelee kusomesha watoto katika shule hii tunaelewana na hivyo hivyo <clears throat> naelewa vile vile ya kwamba tuko na shortage kubwa ya walimu katika taifa letu la Kenya tuko na shortage kubwa ya walimu wa taifa letu la Kenya na tulikubaliana wakati tulienda kwa uchaguzi ya kwamba we will consistently and deliberately reduce the number or the gap that we have between the teachers who should be in school and the teachers who are in school kwa hivyo mimi nataka nitangaze ya kwamba tayari tumekubaliana na Kenya eh, na Teacher Service Commission ya kwamba kuanzia Januari tutaajiri wale watakaotusaidia shuleni walimu wetu tutaajiri walimu 1030 wa kwanza kuanzia Januari So my good friend uh, uh, our the representative of our teachers 
beginning January, we are going to start phase one. We are going to have both teachers. We are going to employ some teachers on permanent and pensionable. We are going to employ the next lot on internship and progressively until the fifth year, we will have filled all the positions and progressively we will make sure that there are enough teachers in our schools. Hakuna masomo itaendelea shuleni bila mwalimu. Sindio? So that is our commitment. I have already had an extensive discussion with Teacher Service Commission. We have agreed on how the numbers are going to be employed progressively so that all our children, all our children can learn in an environment where there are classrooms, where there are teachers, and we can have meaningful acquisition of knowledge in our schools. So, mimi ni mefrai sana. Nataka ni malizie kwa kusema ya kwamba tayari ni mekubaliana na huyu sakaja. Ya kwamba tulikubaliana mambo ya masoko. Tulikubaliana mambo ya masoko. Eh, tutaongea wajia kidogo. Tulikubaliana mambo ya masoko. Hapa tuko na masoko pale Masimba, Masimba Soweto. Oh yeah, yeah. no no no. Oh, hii mambo yako ya barabara. Oh yeah. Nilikubaliana na huyu mungwana. Hii barabara yenu ya kutoka Nyamavila kwenda mpaka K Mall hapa chini. Hii inapitia hapa. Hiyo barabara tutafanya ukarabati na tutairekebisha ikae sawa sawa. Tunaelewana? Na ile ingine ya kutoka Masimba kwenda Soweto, kwenda Kona mpaka ifike eh? Kayole 1, si ndio? Hiyo barabara yote pia nitahakikisha imefanyiwa ukarabati. Mtanipatia tu nafasi kidogo nipange pange mambo. Mambo ilikuwa imeenda kombo kidogo. So lazima ni nyoroshe. Si namna hiyo? Vile vile bila kusahau mambo yenu ya maji. Wakati nilikuja hapa niliwaahidi ya kwamba tutawatatulia tatizo la maji. Tayari tumejenga bomba kubwa, a huge pipeline kutoka pale Kiambu inapitia hapa kwenu inaenda mpaka Embakasi. Tumetengeneza pipeline nyingine ambaye inatoka kabete inakuja mpaka hapa embakasi shida kidogo tuko naye ni kwamba kuna section ambayo atujakamilisha mimi nataka ni waombe munipatie miezi mitatu niende nifanye land compensation tujenge hiyo section ambayo imebaki karibu kilomita 25 alafu ile ahadi yangu ya maji kwa watu wa hapa Islands hasa watu wa hapa Eh, embakasi hiyo ahadi yetu tuweze kuitimiza haya kuna mrembo pale anaomba job we relax nimeshaona <laughs> tumekubaliana jameni so tumekubaliana mambo ya maji mimi nataka governor mimi na wewe nataka tutaandamana mpaka hiyo maji ifike hapa so that we can make the city of Nairobi a better city than we have today. Tumekubaliana? Hiyo maneno ya bomba la maji nimekubaliana tayari. Pia nimeidhinisha shilingi ingine milioni miatano kwa project ya Ruiru 2 ambayo pia itatuletea maji katika mji wa Nairobi. Itapeleka maji kiasi kule Kiambu na italete maji the bigger portion hiyo maji itakuja hapa Nairobi kwa hivyo watu wa Nairobi mjue ya kwamba mambo yenu mimi naelewa sawa sawa na hiyo mambo tutayatatua vizuri vile deputy president amesema hakuna tena mambo ya evictions katika Nairobi kama kutakuwa na maneno ni maneno ya relocation ambayo itakuwa ni kwa utaratibu bila ya mwananchi kuvunjiwa nyumba 
uweze kutoka nyumbani alafu unarudi jioni unakuta masufuria barabarani na blanketi sijui imekaa wapi that one will not happen again we want to make sure that we are an orderly humane society that respects the right of everybody irrespective of who they are or irrespective of their financial status we are all equal before the constitution tumekubaliana watu wa nairobi vijana tumekubaliana tunaelewana tutatembea pamoja bas wewe mwalimu mkuu vile vile uh, uh, deputy president amesema ashughulikia hii maneno ya ya hawa watoto wetu hawa mambo hiyo imesemekana ya mkate na chai na na soda na hiyo ingine